Hi. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, Alexander. How are you? There are only you. <laughs> oh, no, there's Ruth. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm good, teacher, trying to sing in on the platform, but I can't. Yeah, it's a damn platform. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Gio? Hey, teacher. What's up? Up. Alexander, I'm sorry, where do you, you told me that you work? Yes, I work. Where do you work? I work at Banco Promerica. Oh, Banco Promerica. Okay, cool. And what do you do there? I am, I always had this doubt about how I can say it, but I work in. Departamento de Tesorería. I don't know how to Treasury. Treasury. Ah, yes, I said treasure. The, the but treasury, treasury department. Is... Oh. Treasury. Okay, that's where I work. Oh, okay. Cool. Nice. Um, Gio, where do you, where did you tell me that you work? I'm working in an advertising agency. That must be interesting, advertising. Yeah. And if I may ask, what do you do? Uh, um, video commercials, um, um, uh, campaigns about almost everything. <laughs> do you do you take pictures and make yeah. videos? Yeah, we make. Yeah, we we do all the things, and we make audiovisuals we work with all that i like that that's cool you know animation illustrations uh, on radio tv and social media but you did not make that mer that commercial of um Alcas, Alcatel, uh, some Alka Seltzer? No. Oh, good, man, because that's a very stupid commercial. <laughs> well, yeah, it, 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 is this, yeah. <laughs> is, this, is this man, he has like diarrhea. Oh, and then you have mariachis in the bus. No Alcatel. No <laughs> yeah, like, oh my God, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sometimes I think I think to myself, oh my God, somebody studied five years <laughs> to <laughs> to become a, a marketing aide, you know, to study marketing and that's his best idea. <laughs> no, you know what? I, I think I think if I hadn't been a teacher, I would like marketing because I like taking pictures. And um, because I like taking pictures, I like getting the, the idea that, you know, and, and, I, I, and I, I always criticize. Yeah. I tend to criticize. Like I remember one time I was yeah. reading, I was reading Frowned that in the summer in, in Semana Santa, they had like this big offer, this big special. You know what the special <laughs> was? That if you buy um five hundred dollars something a, a grill for barbecue you got a squeezy <laughs> no gratis una bolsa de carbon i promise you in a big big page a complete page in the newspaper okay. and i said oh my god really i remember a sculpture about promotion about it they they gave gave you a if you open an, an account with I don't know if there was uh, 200 or three, no, 3,000 and you can, you can take a, you can have a, a, a pig, these little pigs. Uh, yeah. how, 
How do you call that? Yeah. I can see. <laughs> oh, piggy bank. Yeah, piggy bank. Yeah. Yeah. You know, who invents that? I don't know. No, because, what, what, yeah, Someone you know. Who have money, a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, because when I saw that, the first thing I would ask is, imagine I am the owner of Frowned. And then this mm -hmm. marketing agency comes, okay, we have the perfect advertising. And I say, okay, tell me, why don't we give a free charcoal, carbon, a free bag, if you buy a $500 barbecue? And I would be, oh my God, what a great idea. I will have to invest a lot of money for a newspaper. I, you know, I, I would say, are you serious, man? Do you think people are going to come to the store? Hey, are you going to give me that free charcoal bag? But but it's fun, you know. It's, yeah, I want I want that 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 barbecue grill. Yeah, sure. But are you going to give me the charcoal bag? If you don't give me a charcoal bag, I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you know. Yeah. No, but it's interesting. I like marketing. It's cool. Uh, yeah, hello, cool. Carla. Hello, Marvin. Hello, Elena. Sandra. Hello. We evening. have two Elenas. Hello. Hello. Ronnie, what are you holding, dude? In that Hi, picture. Hi, Ronnie. Uh, what, what were you holding in that picture? In the picture. My profile picture. Yeah. Einstein, I think. It's Einstein, Albert Einstein. It's my friend. Oh my <laughs> God, you know, every time I teach this class, I get scared of how much I need my glasses. I can't see. Albert he's Einstein. He's in LA in the Griffith Observatory. Cool, nice. Yes, I. I was there in 1917. 1917. Wow. How old are you, Ronnie? Uh, Be no, I'm because 1917 was 100 years ago. Yeah. It's no, 19. Or 1970. Yep, it As he said. 17? <laughs> 17. 15, 16, 17, or 70? Yeah. I say the date with two form. 19? Ah, 2017. Oh, okay. <laughs> really, uh, yeah, because really even 1970 is like. No, no, no. Yes, yes. I, I, how I old are you? Look at you. <laughs> okay. No problem. No problem. <laughs> but, it's okay. But I'm, for, but I'm 43. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no problem because, wow, you look you look yes. young in 1970. You look the same. Yes. Yes, yes. No, it's, it's 2017. <laughs> 2017. Cool. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Albert Einstein has one of my favorite sayings. He said, yes. knowledge, knowledge has limits. Everything has limits, but imagination doesn't. Imagination. Yes. It's, it's, it's great. Yes. He's my friend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's my friend too. No. Yeah, I, I love I love I love him. In history, he was a great a great character in history. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hello, Patricia. Hello, teacher. Hello, guys. Oh, uh, class, is it me or is it hot today? It was hot today, right? Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, it's hot today. All right. Okay, so remember yesterday we were doing the active and passive voice, correct? Yes. yes. So what is what is more important, Sandra, active or passive? Or maybe Elena Martinez, what is more important, active or passive? 
Mm. The more important is active. It's the subject and the passive is the... Like a second. <laughs> it's okay, okay. Well, actually, Elena, it was a tricky question because there is no answer. Is What's more important, you, the, the correct answer is depends. Mm. Depends who you want to make important. Okay. Yeah. Remember, rep the, um, what's more important, it depends. If you want to make the subject important, you speak active. Mm -hmm. If you want to make the object important, you speak passive. Mm -hmm. What okay. is more important uh, to me? What, yes, what's more important to you or in the situation? It's like, you know, um, you know how some people say like, <clears throat> I was invited to dinner by the president of the company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What am I doing right there? Am I speaking active or passive? Active. Active. Are you sure I'm speaking active? Who, who did the action? Uh, are you, you was invited by the president. So yeah. the president is the actor. Yeah, the actually, family. actually I spoke passive because yes. I made myself important in the situation. Mm -hmm. Because the actor would be the president of the company invited me to dinner. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pero si me quiero ir a lucir con mis compañeros, digo, <clears throat> ¿qué pasó? No, nada, no, nothing. ¿Por qué te llamaron? No, nothing. Um, I was invited to dinner by the president of the company, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, you know, nothing. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to go. <laughs> Maybe if I have time. Yeah. I'm just watching a soccer game. Yeah, Barcelona plays that day, so hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll go. And then that day I will be in Simon buying clothes. And then, you know, people do that. Yeah. All right. So that, that, that's the difference. That, remember, um, let me pull up the page here. So that's what we were doing yesterday. Well, we started doing yesterday the active and the passive voices. And remember, you can use this in your personal life. It's psychological because if you speak with your spouse, always always speak passive. Mention your spouse first and then you mention yourself last. And remember that it's gonna work. <laughs> wow, you told me you wanted good food, so Mexican food is good, you know. Okay, let's eat Mexican food. <laughs> and actually you, you are the one that wants the Mexican food. Let me open the page. So um, Alexandra was having problems with the platform today, correct? Yes, teacher. I don't believe you. No, I'm joking. Yeah. Mm. I everyone's having problems with the platform. You know what I think the problem is? There are many classes at this time. So maybe it's opening at, at in the same time for everything. Me because the uh, the video doesn't Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me see. It's very complicated studying in the cell phone because it's, it's very slow. You are from the cell phone, Elena. Yes, but I can study because it's slow, very slow. Yeah. Well, you know, when it comes to platform, unless you have a really, really good cell phone with good good ram but if not it's recommended on on the computer yes in the computer is it is more easy but is for studying the travel i need to use the cell phone but i cannot use 
I can do a yeah, study of course. for the uh, well. And today I received the message from the uh, in Safor because I um, I'm missing to uh, to uh, advance with the study with the un unit. Okay. Okay, I understand. Um, I'm going to share. I'm going to share right now the screen. Tell me if you can see it. Can you see it? Yes. 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 Okay. So it says here now. Next, it says lesson objectives. You will notice and use reduced auxiliary verbs. Did I tell you that the the government passed by yes uh, two days ago with 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 the food supply for for my neighborhood? Yeah. Well, you know what? They passed again today because they forgot. <laughs> they forgot one block, which not was there. not my block. So so they passed every block except mine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> All right. Okay. Do you see the lady here? Yes. 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 The lady. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Compartir sonido. Where is it? Okay. Let's listen to what she's gonna say. Let's practice your pronunciation. Listen and notice how the auxiliary verbs is, are, has, and have are reduced in a conversation. Listen and practice. Fresh water is being wasted. Too much trash has been created. Newspapers are being thrown away. Parks have been lost. Let's let's do it one more time. It was very short. Let's practice your pronunciation. Listen and notice how the auxiliary verbs is, are, has, and have are reduced in a conversation. Listen and practice. Fresh water is being wasted. Too much trash has been created. Newspapers are being thrown away. Parks have been lost. Okay, so is, are, have, and has, right? Yes. Now, one thing I would recommend you, if you do not, if you do not feel comfortable, you don't have to contract it. Okay? If you don't feel comfortable because, you know, like, um, newspapers, what was the example? Let me see. How the auxiliary verbs is, are, has, are, has, and have, are up are reduced in a conversation listen and practice fresh waters being okay it says fresh waters being wasted wasted okay the correct way would be fresh water is being wasted but if you if you're going to say it in, in contraction or shorten it fresh waters being wasted you have to say it fast like you have to unite the s with the last word Fresh water's being wasted. Okay. Fresh water's being wasted. Um, what's the next one? Too much trash has been created. Too much trash has been created. Newspapers are being say, thrown away. You can say too much uh, trash has been created or too much trash has been created. But like, again, um, this I recommend to you only if you feel comfortable, do it. But if you want to use it the formal way, it's okay. It's better because sometimes you can, you can get confused. Parks have been lost. Food has, <laughs> food has <laughs> been given in my neighborhood, except my block. <laughs> 
So how would you how would you make that short? Food has been food has been given in my neighborhood by the government. What would be the short been. way? Food has been. Food has been food, given. Yeah. Food has been. Food has been given. Food has. Yeah. Food has been given in my neighborhood by the government, except in my block. <laughs> Okay, so let me see. So listening, exercise, ex instructions. Listen to three people describe some serious environmental problems. Choose the right answer. We have Jenny, Adam, and Katie. All right, let's listen. Listen to three people describe some serious environmental problems. Write each problem in the chart. One, Jenny. You know, I've been reading a lot about the problem of landfills, and it really has me worried. Why? Well, it seems that the easiest way of disposing of trash is by burying it in landfills. The problem is that in many countries the landfills have already been filled up, and it's hard to find places to start new ones. No one wants a huge landfill anywhere near their neighborhood. So, what's the solution? Well, there is no easy solution. But many cities are trying to do more recycling so that they can reduce the amount of stuff that goes into the landfills. Two, Adam. I can't believe it's become dangerous to get a suntan. What is this world coming to? Well, the sun has never been good for you, but it's really dangerous now. You see, the ozone layer, which helps protect us from the sun's ultraviolet rays, has been damaged by pollution in the air. When the ozone layer gets too thin, it can cause an increase in skin cancer and other problems. But is there anything we can do to solve the problem? Sure. One of the biggest threats to the ozone layer is cars, the exhaust gases from cars. The best way to save the ozone layer is to drive less. So in many places, people are being asked to carpool. Three, Katie. You know, you always hear about air pollution, but not many people are aware of the problem of water pollution. You mean in the oceans? No, I mean polluted drinking water. It's a problem in almost every major city in the world. Almost all our rivers and lakes, where we get our drinking water from, are being polluted in some way by businesses, farms, homes, industries and other sources. And even though the water most of us drink is treated, it's still not 100% pure. So what's the solution? Well, it's a complicated problem to solve. But basically what's involved is treating all waste products more carefully so that dangerous chemicals and bacteria don't get into our water supply. Page 46. Exercise 5, Part B. Listen again. What can be done to solve each problem? Complete the chart. 1. Jenny. You know, I've been reading a lot about the problem of landfills, and it really has me worried. Why? Well, it seems that the easiest way of disposing of trash is by burying it in landfills. The problem is that in many countries, the landfills have already been filled up, and it's hard to find places to start new ones. No one wants a huge landfill anywhere near their neighborhood. So what's the solution? Well, there is no easy solution. But many cities are trying to do more recycling so that they can reduce the amount of stuff that goes into the landfills. 2. Adam I can't believe it's become dangerous to get a suntan. What is this world coming to? 
Well, the sun has never been good for you, but it's really dangerous now. You see, the ozone layer, which helps protect us from the sun's ultraviolet rays, has been damaged by pollution in the air. When the ozone layer gets too thin, it can cause an increase in skin cancer and other problems. But is there anything we can do to solve the problem? Sure. One of the biggest threats to the ozone layer is cars, the exhaust gases from cars. The best way to save the ozone layer is to drive less. So in many places, people are being asked to carpool. 3. Katie You know, you always hear about air pollution, but not many people are aware of the problem of water pollution. You mean in the oceans? No, I mean polluted drinking water. It's a problem in almost every major city in the world. Almost all our rivers and lakes, where we get our drinking water from, are being polluted in some way by businesses, farms, homes, industries, and other sources. And even though the water most of us drink is treated, it's still not 100% pure. So what's the solution? Well, it's a complicated problem to solve. But basically what's involved is treating all waste products more carefully so that dangerous chemicals and bacteria don't get into our water supply. All right. What, what, what problem do you think we have in El Salvador? If it... The three of them. <laughs> yeah, the three of them. <laughs> the yeah. culture. Yeah, you know, honestly, honestly, well, I know the water system in El Salvador is very bad, but um, it's also very, very cheap. Yeah. I feel, I feel water should be more expensive because that way people would appreciate it. I pay $3 of water. I think it depends from the sound too. Yeah. Because, you know, I, I, I pay two, two and 40, 43. And, and I have water every day. Yeah, and I, I have friends that they, they pay um, $6, $7. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, but even though if it's six or seven dollars, I, I think it should be like ten dollars or more. Yeah. But electricity should go down. <laughs> but um, I, I think it should be more because people don't really in El Salvador. People do not appreciate water. I have a neighbor that he washes his three cars every three days. He washes them and he spends one hour throwing waters at the car. You know, throwing water at the cars. And when he finishes, Hi. I don't know why. I don't know why after he finishes, he starts watering the concrete, the, the street. <laughs> so, okay, so he spends one hour with the water turned on. Imagine, and sometimes I see people in Soyapango or some places in Soyapango like six weeks with no water. It's sad. <laughs> Okay, Alexandra Hernandez, what is Jenny's problem? Jenny's problem is the landfills. Cool. Uh, Alex, Mr. White. Yeah. <laughs> For NM. Um, you, you got a cool last name. <laughs> Mr. White, like a movie. <laughs> Do you know who the, Mr. The White is? There's two Mr. Whites who are very, very famous. In Hollywood. No, I don't really meet anyone. Did you ever watch did you ever watch Breaking Bad? Breaking Bad? Oh yeah. Walter White, Mr. Walter White. Walter White, right. And there's a Quentin Tarantino movie that they sell him Mr. White. <clears throat> so Mr. White, what is Adam's problem? The tightening of the ozone layer. Yeah. And let me see, Patricia, what was Katie's problem? Uh, about water pollution. Good. The water pollution. Very good. Let me see. 
I'll submit. Oh my God, I got them all right. I will go out and celebrate. <laughs> okay, now, 2.6 lesson objective. It says, in this section, participants will listen to how to give solution to problems. This is going to be interesting. How to give solutions. And that's a very big problem in El Salvador because we only talk about problems, not solutions. Okay, what do they decide to do? All right, you see the screen, right? Yes. You, you see the screen, right? You know, looking at that picture in the back, did you see the, the um, documentary of Chernobyl? Uh, yes. It was good. Yeah. Did anyone else see the Chernobyl? No. No. Oh. no. I recommend you. You should watch it. I'm sorry? Yes, what happened in uh, Russia. Oh. You know, with the COVID, what happened with the COVID in, in China is similar to what happened in Chernobyl. All right. Okay. Um, what do they decide to do? Are you able to give solution to problems? Listen to the conversation and find out about the problem Carla and Andy talk about and what solutions they come up with. Look at all those dead fish. What do you think happened? Well, there's a factory outside town that's pumping chemicals into the river. How can they do that? Isn't that against the law? Yes, it is, but a lot of companies ignore those laws. That's terrible. What can we do about it? Well, one thing to do about it is to talk to the company's management. What if that doesn't work? Well, then, another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story on it. Yes, companies hate bad publicity. By the way, what's the name of this company? It's called Apex Industries. Oh, no. My uncle is one of their top executives. What do Andy and Carla decide to do? Wait a minute. Before we do anything, shouldn't we make sure that we've got our facts straight? Absolutely. The best thing to do is to monitor the situation over the next several weeks to see what exactly is happening. How do we do that? Well, we can take pictures of the river and even take water samples to see how bad the situation is. We can get some friends to help. Okay. And maybe I could talk to my uncle about it. Oh, no. I don't think that's a good idea. Not yet, anyway. Why not? I don't think we want to say anything to anyone until we have a clearer picture of what is going on. After we've monitored the situation for a while, then we can decide whether we need to have a meeting with a representative of the company to tell them what we've discovered. Okay, Carla? Okay. Did you listen to the entire conversation? If you did, tell me what Carla and Andy decide to do. All right, what do they decide to do, um, Carla? To monitor uh, the behavior of the company. Okay, so basically they want to make sure and have proof and evidence. Yes. Yeah, before they take action, correct? Which I think is the most logical and understanding thing to do. All right, let me see what it says here. So infinitive clause and, fa and phrases. Okay. Ready? Yes, teacher. This time we'll come up with infinitive clauses and phrases to come up with solutions. Pay attention and take notes. Infinitive clauses and phrases. 
One thing to do about it is to talk to the company's management. Another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story. The best ways to fight HIV AIDS are to do more research and educate people. Let's go back and notice the expressions used on the grammar box. One thing, another way, the best ways. With these expressions, we must continue using one way plus infinitive plus is or are plus infinitive. For example, one way to help the homeless is to build more public housing. Now that you have learned to give solutions, can you think of two more for these problems? Remember to do it on our discussion box. Okay. Um, so let's do, let's do your, it's your option. It can be one way or the best way or the worst way. Two, the infinitive and the answer. Okay. Um, so, Alexandra, you told me you work in a bank. Yes, teacher, I do. All right. For you, what is the best way to get a raise? To get what? A raise. What is that, teacher? More money. Oh. <laughs> mm, the best way or the worst way? <laughs> Well, if you if you had the worst way too, no, or the best way, <laughs> uh, just saving money, teacher. And if you you got a credit card, uh, there exists a. Oh no no! But what what I'm saying is what I'm saying is to get a raise in your salary in your work. Ah. So imagine um, you imagine you have been in the company five years, and your salary is the same. And I don't know, I don't know if there, if, is there a law that after so many years, your salary has to increase? No. Uh, there, there have to be, uh, how do you, I kind of, um, I don't know how do you say it, you, um, evaluation? Okay, okay, good, mm -hmm. okay, that, then tell me that. So, what is the best way to get a, a raise for you? Uh, basically, it's a good, um, but answer complete. Service. The best way to the best way to get a raise is uh, give a good custom service. Very good. But how will that get you a raise? But I I I can understand completely that word. Okay, a raise is aumento. Mm -hmm. Raise. Ah, okay. R A I S E raise. Okay. Uh, well, I can give you an example. Uh, there's for in a year uh, we have um, like a concurso. I don't know how do you say. A contest. Uh, a what? A contest. A contest. Contest and with T. Contest. A a contest Very good. and all the cashier um, participating that the okay. faster get um, a race. Well, who gets the race? The the winner, I mean, the, the faster, the can do the, the transaction faster than the, the others. Okay. okay, very good. So the best way to get a race is to be fast with the transactions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Repeat. Mm -hmm. The best way to get a raise, a raise is to the faster. To be with fast. The, to be fast. Yes. So that, that, is, that is what we're doing right now. The best, the, the only way, the best way or one way to and then the verb in infinitive, you know. So in this case, I asked you, which is the best way to get a raise? Okay, so then the best way to get a raise is to, um, 
to be fast in the transactions. <laughs> I, I can give you an example. Do you know which is the best way? Oh, oh no, but we have Alexandra. She works in the bank. I can't say. <laughs> well, <I hate> you. <laughs> okay, you know what is the best way to get fast service in the bank? Get pregnant. <laughs> what? To get pregnant. To get pregnant. <laughs> no. What? To yeah. be pregnant. To be pregnant. With pregnancy or be old. <laughs> or, or, or to get a appendix a operation. Appendix. Appendix. Yeah. <laughs> because remember, you can, that? your appendix. <laughs> 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 because of the pain or what? Yeah, because first you you can get an operation of appendix at any age. You can be a child, yeah. an adult, or an old person. Yeah. So if you walk like with pain, like ah, uh, and you say, "Excuse me, is there a place I can sit and wait?" Because I got an appendix operation three days ago. <laughs> oh no, no, no! Yeah. Come in. Yeah. Thank you. That's good. <laughs> Yeah. Let me see. <laughs> but now we have seats on the agency, so yeah. <laughs> you can wait <laughs> and there is no problem. You know, one time I went to those stores, the, um, ¿cómo se llaman esos tiendas? Como el Premium o el Genesis. Do you know, you know what those stores are called? Um, Usados. <laughs> The, the no. use of claw? Yeah, do you know what those stores are called? No. Pacas in Spanish. How? What? Pacas. Pacas. The second. The second. In, 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 the, in, the, in Spanish is pacas. Ah. The cloth arrived in the United States. Pacas. Okay. Oh, really? Do you know, Me I too. heard that those stores are illegal in Mexico now. Why? I don't know, because maybe the competition. I mean, it's better to buy $1 jeans than $80 jeans in Simon. <laughs> yeah. The same, sure. jeans. <laughs> the same jeans. The same jeans, yes. Or better. <laughs> or better. Yeah. better. Yeah. 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 I will confess, said, I am. Said, I will confess, that. I am so addicted to those stores. But um, I like to, for, I like to buy strange objects. Yeah. Like antique objects or collectionable objects. I am so addicted to that. Well, anyways, one time I bought a cast. Do you know what is a cast? Cast? No. What is that? It was oh. a very cool cast. A cast is like when you break your leg and they put you a cast, orthopedic cast. Es como la bota, ese molde. Exactly. La bota. Sí, pero hoy son más de esos de plástico, los ortopédicos. Yeah. And it was new. It was new and it cost me $5. It was so nice. I had it maybe for one year until my mother obligated me to, <laughs> to get rid of it because when I bought it, I always had it in the trunk of my car. You're a tricky. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I hate, I hate making line. So, you know, when, when I had to, like, I only had one hour, like, oh, my God, there's no parking. <laughs> so uh, I always put on the cast and I start walking, like, oh, so I never <laughs> made line. Hey, that's a good tip. <laughs> yeah, but, hey, my mother discovered me. She obligated me to sell the cast. <laughs> but, it was, but, you know, I'm teaching you a good way to <laughs> get fast attention uh, on the or get a parking yeah it was to, the worst way to get a, a park okay very good yes it's the worst way to to get a good parking but it works <laughs> the worst 
one time I did feel bad with my appendix because I went to the to the bank and then, you know, I was like, oh, you know, and I told the security, can I please, um, can I wait, but sitting down please, because I, I was recently operated. And then the security was very nice. He said, no, 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 please pass <laughs> to the line. So I passed to the line of the old people or elderly. Oh my goodness. And, no way, that's not, that's not the bad part. And then the old, like there were two old people in the line and they were looking at me and they were sitting down and um, they were looking at me like, why are you here? Um, and I said, hi, um, I was operated from the appendix. Hijito, ¿y por qué está parado? Sentate, papito. An old lady, man. And I said, oh my God, no, 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 no se preocupe. No, papito, a mí también me operaron. Oh my God, I felt, I felt terrible. The old people were giving me their seat. Thank you, thank you. I felt very bad. So, but I don't do that no more. <laughs> Maybe the, she's in them too. <laughs> oh, she was really old. But she's in bed. <laughs> you know, but now, now I use a natural, a natural cause. Yeah. I go in with a baby. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I start, I start pinching my baby like a cebolla. <laughs> You know, <laughs> yeah, caballero, si gusta pasar, yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, so that's a good way. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Jose Armando Guevara, where do you work? The liable. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jose Armando, where? Cable color. Cable color. Where is that? Is that like in uh, Santa Ana or something? Oh, San Salvador. Colón is Colón. It's a cable company? They sell, yeah, they sell uh, cable and internet. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, there's, it's, a small, it's a small company, but they are working to grow up. Okay, that's good. So what is a good way to contact them? Uh, they do for, they have a, a page. Okay, but what, what, but what I want you to tell me is the complete sentence. A good way to contact them? Oh, by telephone. Okay, but I need a complete answer. A good way to contact them? Oh, uh, you can call them to the cell phone number or go to the uh, 87... Um, Avenue in okay. Colón, Escalón, San Salvador. Okay, good. But Jose, what well, the grammar we're doing today is a good way to the infinitive. Oh, the remember? good way to contact them is there by you go. It's by phone, Call okay? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, you know, today now a good way to contact any company is Facebook, right? Yeah, they do or by network, or social network. Yeah. That is Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, so the everybody everyone are working in in network, social yeah, network. That's true. That's true. Because it's it uh, is now it's advancing, you know, because of the pandemia, because of everything of this this uh COVID, everybody is putting sell selling all everything on the internet. And, and you know, and a good way to make good advertising is talking to Gio. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> Asking Gio for You're advice. Right. Yeah. yeah, that guy's very intelligent. Yeah, don't get those Alka-Seltzer people. That's a bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, Patricia Sanchez, are you there? I am, teacher. I, I have a problem. Do you know I have a problem? I think What's my I think my wife has a good uh, a friend, a special friend. But I'm not sure. I just think. What is a good way to find out? Um, I think the way uh, it's example, okay. 
<laughs> Everybody's good. <laughs> yeah, just, yes, yes, me too. Right now. <laughs> yeah, just in case she's in the kitchen right now really? listening. Yeah, man, you're not going to be me. No, no, it's just example. <laughs> okay, so imagine, imagine. So I think my wife has a, a very good friend, but I don't know. What's a good way to find out? The good way uh, to find out uh, is join her with all the places that she goes. Go with her? Yes, you have to go with her to find out or to know who is but it. I have to go with her or follow her? Both. Okay. Sometimes you go with her and other you follow her. Sometimes go with her. Sometimes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the best way to find out is to follow her incognito. Incognito. You, oh, you, you can you can uh, join her uh, how uh, or, or like a surprise. Uh, darling, I will go with you today. Or well, that's mm -hmm. easy because she's not gonna say no. She's gonna oh good, and then uh -huh. you know suddenly a hey, change plans. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, well, you know you know what's a good way. I'm thinking, what is a good way to follow somebody or to catch somebody? My brother, my brother has two cars, two cars. And uh, the two cars work in Uber, in Uber, right? But my brother put the GPS system in, in the two cars. That's cool, man. That that's very cool because the drivers they don't know, mm -hmm. and he can he looks at their complete route. He, you know, and in, in on the cell phone, he turns on the cell phone and he looks at the route of the Uber, like oh, it's been three hours in this place, and he can turn the 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 car off from his telephone. He can turn it off if he wants. I have a friend that he has, a, or he has, he has a, some cars in Uber, mm -hmm. and he he has uh, cameras uh, into the cars, and he can hear and see all that happened in the car. Oh, okay. All the time and GPS too. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, the GPS is, is uh -huh. very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I recommend that. So I'm thinking, hmm, imagine if you don't trust your girlfriend or your boyfriend, your husband, secretly, secretly take their car and put the GPS system and just mm -hmm. follow them. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's, <laughs> that's going to be a problem. That's the best way to discover. No, no, but also, but if you have a business or, or, or even if you have your son or daughter, like my son, he's very small, but if, if my son is young and he drives in this moment, definitely I would, I would put a GPS system in his car. You know, just because it's my son, I need to protect him. I want to know where he is. Not because I want to follow him. But where are you? Like, imagine, where are you, son? Oh, I'm in the university. It is El Tunco Beach. Hmm. <laughs> the GPS. <laughs> Los Tres Diablos. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so that's the best way to. Uh, uh, Mr. White, you work in a call center, correct? That's correct. All right, what is the best way to work in a call center? What is the best way to join a call center? To join, okay. The best way to join a call center is be a good... It's to be? be to, is to be good attitude. attitude. And to have a good also, attitude. And also 
uh, other best way to join in a call center is improve your English level skills. All right, very good, good. Ruth, are you there? Yes. Hello, Ruth. Um, where do you Hello. work? Hello. Uh, this is a company, uh, Red Cell. Oh, that's the communication and, company, right? Uh, no, it's a, uh, there are some, um, there are many uh, things that we, we are, we, uh, with what? That you do? We do, yes. So uh, Ruth, and, Ruth and I, and, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. No, no, go ahead. I'm sorry, finish. In my case, uh, I, I schedule the, the agenda of the lawyer mm -hmm. on the United States. Okay, Ruth, imagine I need information about your job tomorrow. Which is the best way to contact you? By email. Completely the best way to contact you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I, the best way that you contact me is by email. Good. The best way to contact me is by email. Contact me. Es by email. By email. <laughs> Thank you, Ruth. ¿Se acuerdan que una vez creo que le dije al principio de la clase, eh, cuando empezábamos hace dos semanas, de que siempre procuren contestar completo? Es for es to practice. Porque no solo se, se queden en que me entendieron y me den short answers, porque es fácil entender. Oh, yeah, no. Eh, decir la palabra completa, la, la, la oración completa es lo que quiero oír. Porque ahí quiero oír el acento, la fluidez y la gramática. Yeah. In general, class. All right. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Alexandra. Again, teacher. Yes, I have a question for you. Tell me. What is, what is the best way? To, no, this is true, okay? And now this is true. What is the best way to know if I am still in the com? I don't know, teacher. I, I, I don't know. But you work in a bank. But I was a cashier and now I'm in the treasury department. And Even more, see... you're in the treasury department. <laughs> no, no, teacher, because the, the, client, the, the custom that I attend if they are already have account, so I don't have oh, okay. to collect that information. Okay, I'm but sorry, okay, you. no, the reason why I'm asking you is because I remember like 10 or 15 years ago, I don't remember, I was a co signer, but that's against the law right now. I think only really? if you, I mean, if you want to uh, have an it, uh. Uh, I don't know. Saving account. Savings account? Uh, saving account. Uh, it's against, uh, we can look for that information, but if you want to apply for a credit card or a leave, yeah. uh, we oh. ask to the other banks, I guess. I, I, I don't, I'm not oh, sure okay. what the cost. Oh, okay. Something okay. Like that. Okay. No. Like like ten or fifteen years ago, um, I was a cosigner. Do you know what a cosigner is? Un fiador. Oh, yes. That was me to my best friend. No, and teacher, we're, that's we're not no friends anymore. Decision. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. I wish I wish I would listen fifteen years ago. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So that's why that's why I, I am always scared every time I want to ask for a credit because. Oh, do you know that you're in the com? Oh, really, man? 10, 15 years and I am still, so. Okay, but thank you. But if you do find out what is the best way to discover or find out, please tell us. If you are still on the com. Uh-huh. Mm. Teacher. I, I, yes, I will. I will Thank you, Alexander. Teacher. 
Yes, you are in the con only for five years. So the law said that. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. But I, well, that's maybe because I, I don't like to, to ask for credits anymore because they always tell me, you were in the com. You are, I, I'm, I am still in the com. And when I asked them for information, I said, can you please tell me in what? or how much or, or something. And we can't give you that information. And I said, okay, so how, how do I know? Because the only possible way is with my friend that, you know, for the credit, but, but yeah. it's only five years, right? Only five years, but you can, you can ask for a, a letter and mm -hmm. they explain uh, the situation and, and result about about your rec, your credit record, and you don't have more problem in the future if you ask for that letter. They oh, can okay. give you. They can give you that kind of letter well, with with with, with 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 that letter. You can resolve your problem. Very good. Thank you very much. Where? Good question, Alexander. I'm going to give you the the telephone and and the address in the next class because in this moment I don't have the the exact information the the department or people who 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 you talk about that. Okay, cool, thank you. Very good. Okay. All right. Okay, class, and um, so think about it. Uh, if you want to practice tomorrow, whatever you do, you know, think about it. The best, like tomorrow when you wake up, I don't know, like if you cook eggs, if you make eggs or something, and you, you know, inside you say, hmm, the best way to make eggs is with butter and mm -hmm. milk. You know, the best way to drink coffee is in a porcelain cup, and it's true. And milk. <laughs> yeah, have you ever done that? Yeah. yeah, do that. I recommend you. You know, like sometimes you're going to make a lot of eggs for five people, maybe. So put butter, and then you put the eggs, you know, like put the eggs. And when they're almost ready, put some milk. Yeah. It becomes yeah. more. <laughs> no, it's good. I, I like it. It's very I, I like to cook, so it's it's but a good it, way. Eggs with meal right at the end. Better in breakfast. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that that's how you practice, you know, like the best way to to do this is doing that. Like men, men, we can tell women, you know, the best way to shave is starting from down up. Yeah. The best way to drink beer is in a glass. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the things future. like that. <laughs> yeah. In the bottle or in a glass? <laughs> I like to, for me, the best way to drink beer is in a glass. I like it in a glass. You know, when you see, when you see the yellow and, you, and it's very, very cold, but a, a nice glass, a nice glass, like a beer glass. Yeah. Okay. So that's how you do it. You know, the best way, the best way. Okay. Okay, class. I'll see you tomorrow. So the best way to study to is to practice what you saw tonight, practice it tomorrow with yourself. Okay. Por ejemplo, el arroz. Oh, uh, hay muchas formas de hacer un buen arroz. Para que no se queme, para que no se que. People say like the best way to make a good rice is low heat, high heat, cover it, no cover it, put salt, wash it. There's many ways of doing it. Okay? Okay. okay. So I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Okay, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.
Bye.